I remember, I remember, I remember we used to sleep upstairs. All the boys slept in one bed upstairs. All the girls slept in the other bed in, bed in, the, in, the, in, the, in the in the old house. So Ma said, "Now, but listen, children. She had us all around the warm morning. Now it's going to be a cold night. The lady always says it's going to be the coldest night we ever had. Now you children, when you go up bed, there's a little chimney brick in that oven where I bake my bread. There might be four or five hundred degrees temperature. Take the chimney brick out, wrap it up, and when you go upstairs, I'll be up later on to tuck you, put the chimney brick under your feet so it wouldn't freeze during the night. So here, we'd be up there in the morning. There was a window right behind my bed, and all the boys slept in one bed. Ma come up with the old coats put on, we couldn't afford blankets or nothing like that. She put the coats on and put the chimney brick on her feet. And right behind my bed was the window. Get up in the morning, there's a northeast wind blowing outside with a snowstorm. Half the snow that was out there would be on top of the coats on top of us. So I used to get up and I'd shake the coats off, and I used to run down and put my feet in the oven. So there's ten of us. See, we all couldn't put our feet in the oven. Whoever gets the oven first won't get all the heat. So this morning, my father made a mistake. He made a big roaring fire in the kitchen stove, one on the warm morning, and he left for the mine. He didn't look in the oven. Here during the night, the cat was after coming oh. up crying and said the oven. Now the old cat is pretty comfortable for a while, eh? Until the heat starts building up. So I'm upstairs, and I'm looking at my brothers. They used to race me down all the time, and they used to torment me. But boy, this boy's going to be the first one down this morning. I had no idea that the cat was in the oven, though. And I got by them, and they didn't wake them up. And I was just going over the top stairs. My sister looked up the other side of the house, and she looked up. She see me going. She said, hollering and screeching, there goes Abby for the oven. He's going to be the first one there. They jumped out of bed. My brothers jumped. We're all running over the stairs. Holes in the lead by me. When I got to the oven to fire my feet in it, well, there was the cat. The cat was still alive. About four or five hundred degrees temperature came out, and the cat jumped one big leap out of the oven, running around the air, jumping up and down. My sister behind me screeching and crying and saying, Ha oh, ha, my daddy cooked the cat, he's gonna die. <laughs> no, he's not. I chased the cat around the kitchen, I got the cat by the tail, I run outside, I throw him in a snowbank. You know that cat survived? Never died. But man, was he ever scared that oven from then on. <laughs> <laughs> Never go near that oven. <laughs> But I'll tell you one thing we had in the old house, guys. That fell up above, he looked after us. Because I can't remember not one of us sick a day in our life. The germs were dead before they ever hit us. <laughs> and another thing, we always had fresh air. Because the wind used to blow into one window, we the next window. We only wanted to know fresh air. 